Introduction to Astrology Welcome to our astrology series. Over the next few weeks, we'll be exploring the fascinating world of astrology and its many applications in our daily lives. Astrology is an ancient practice that has been used for centuries to gain insight into human behavior and relationships, as well as to predict future events. By examining the positions of the stars and planets at the time of a person's birth, astrologers can create a unique birth chart that provides a detailed snapshot of their personality, strengths, weaknesses, and potential. In this series, we'll be diving deep into the various components of astrology, including sun signs, rising signs, moon signs, planetary influences, and more. We'll also explore how astrology can be used for self-discovery, understanding relationships, and making informed decisions. So if you're curious about what the stars have in store for you, or if you want to learn more about this ancient practice, follow along with us as we explore the fascinating world of astrology. Understanding your sun sign. Are you curious about astrology and what your sign says about you? Your sun sign, based on your date of birth, is one of the most well-known aspects of astrology. In this post, we'll explore what your sun sign means and how it can influence your life. Your sun sign represents the core of who you are and how you express yourself. Each zodiac sign has its own unique qualities and characteristics, which can reveal a lot about your personality, interests, and even your destiny. To find out your sun sign, you need to know your birth date. If you were born between March 21st and April 19th, your sun sign is Aries. If your birthday falls between April 20th and May 20th, your sun sign is Taurus. The list goes on, with each sign corresponding to a different date range. Once you know your sun sign, you can begin to explore its qualities and traits. For example, if you're a Leo, you're likely confident, generous, and passionate. If you're a Scorpio, you might be intense, intuitive, and secretive. There are 12 signs in total, each with its own unique set of characteristics. Understanding your sun sign can help you gain insight into your strengths, weaknesses, and potential opportunities in life. You can also explore how your sign interacts with other signs in relationships and compatibility. The rising sign. The rising sign is an astrological term used to describe one of the most important components of a birth chart. It describes how a person expresses themselves within their environment, and is a sign of how the world perceives them. The rising sign is determined by the exact moment a person is born, as well as the location of their birth. This is based off the position of the planets at the time, and identifies a horoscope sign for the ascendant, or rising sign. This sign is used to gain an insight into the personality traits, characteristics, and qualities that a person may have. By understanding the rising sign, it can help reveal the potential of a person, and give a greater idea of their strengths and talents. It is also a great way to determine compatibility with another person, as it provides an indication of how they may interact with and react to another person, as well as the way they may deal with the overall outside world. Moreover, the rising sign indicates the way a person may behave when they are new to something and still uncertain or in the process of learning. It reveals the energy and attitude a person may have when entering into something new, and gives a guide as to how they may approach it. Overall, the rising sign is a powerful tool for deciphering a person's character. It provides insight into their hidden personality and how they approach life, as well as gives a helpful guide for understanding the potential of a person, and how their character may be expressed. The Moon Sign The Moon Sign is an astrological indicator, determined by the Moon's cycles and transits within a certain sign of the zodiac, which provides valuable insight into an individual's psyche. The Moon Sign is one of the more personal astrological signs, since it's associated with inner thoughts, feelings, and emotions, and is often associated with understanding our behavior and motivations. It provides insight into how we process our internal life and can help us to gain insight into our subconscious motivations. When the moon is in a sign, certain activities may be more enjoyable or fruitful. It's important to remember, however, that the full moon is not an indicator for a certain lifetime, it's a snapshot of a given moment. 
The moon sign in astrology describes our emotional challenges, our waning and waxing emotions, our spiritual purpose in the here and now, and our reaction toward our environment. The moon sign can also be used to assess compatibility between two people. Those with compatible moon signs may share a stronger bond, since they understand each other's emotional needs and have greater empathy for one another. The moon sign is an important aspect of astrology that adds a layer of understanding to the greater picture of the individual. The planet S. The planets consists of eight, eight, distinct worlds orbiting our sun in their own orbits. They are, in order from the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Each of these planets have their own unique makeup, size, and characteristics that are different from the others. Mercury is the closest to the Sun and the smallest of the planets. It is a rocky planet with no atmosphere. Venus is the second planet and the brightest in the sky. It has a thick atmosphere consisting of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid and has been termed the sister planet to Earth. Earth is the only known planet known to have life. It has an atmosphere consisting of oxygen and nitrogen and it is the only planet with liquid water on its surface. The fourth planet, Mars, has an atmosphere primarily consisting of carbon dioxide. It is often called the red planet as it has an iron-rich crust that gives it its reddish hue. Jupiter is the fifth planet and the largest of all the planets. It consists mostly of hydrogen and helium and has many moons. Saturn is the sixth planet and has a unique feature known as the rings around it. It consists of mostly hydrogen, helium and traces of other gases. Uranus is the seventh planet and consists of mostly hydrogen and helium with traces of methane and water. It is often referred to as, the tilt planet, because it orbits on its side. And finally, Neptune is the farthest from the Sun and the eighth planet from the Sun. It has an atmosphere made mostly of hydrogen, helium and methane and is often referred to as the, blue giant. The planets have been a topic of awe and wonder for centuries. From ancient Greek mythology to modern day astrophysics, the mysteries of these distant worlds never cease to amaze us. Aspects and Houses Aspects and Houses are two of the most important components of astrology. They are two distinct yet related facets that can be used to gain insight into an individual's life. Aspects are a means of quantifying relationships between planets. They describe the relationship and tension between celestial bodies associated with certain areas of life. Different planets interact in different ways, forming patterns that symbolically indicate the type of energy that will play out in each area. Meanwhile, the houses are divisions of space and time associated with certain areas of life. Each of the twelve houses is associated with a zodiac sign and is used to assess a person's home, family life, work, self-image, values, emotions, and relationships with others. By looking at the areas associated with each house, astrologers are able to gain insight into how an individual will approach certain areas of their life. When looking at an individual's birth chart, it is important to take into consideration both aspects and houses. By looking at how the planets interact with each other and where they fall into the various houses, astrologers can gain deeper insight into the individual's life path. Astrological Compatibility Astrological compatibility is a widely discussed topic amongst astrologers and those who practice astrology. It is the idea that two people, based on their specific birth chart, may be more compatible with each other than two people whose birth charts are not in alignment. Astrological compatibility looks at the individual birth horoscopes, with the person's individual traits and tendencies in mind, and tries to bring them into a compatible whole. When looking at compatibility through astrology, one must take into consideration many different aspects of the birth charts. It is important to note that compatibility will rarely be perfect or exact, but that there can be a mixture of good and bad that needs to be understood. First and foremost, one must consider the zodiac signs of the two people. The zodiac is divided up into 12 signs, each of which brings its own set of traits and tendencies. Traditional astrology believes that two people of the same zodiac sign would generally be compatible, while two different signs could bring more of a challenge. However, this is not always the case, as similar traits can be found among different zodiac signs, or traits between two similar signs can clash. 
Overall, determining astrological compatibility can be a complex process, and should not be taken lightly. Although it is possible to make determinations based on the birth charts of two individuals, the compatibility between two people is ultimately up to each individual to decide for themselves. Using Astrology for Self-Discovery Using astrology for self-discovery is a great way to gain insight into yourself and those around you. Astrology looks beyond basic personality traits to give insight into your soul's purpose and life path. It can help you identify challenges that have been present throughout your life, along with potential solutions and guidance for the future. Astrology can be used to understand yourself in various stages of life, from childhood through adulthood. It can provide insight into areas including how you process emotions, how you relate to others, your sense of purpose, your ability to manifest what you desire, and more. It can also help you uncover hidden strengths and desires, as well as provide a deeper understanding of relationships and dynamics. A great way to start your astrological self-discovery journey is with an in-depth natal chart. This chart lays out the planets, zodiac signs, and houses as they appear in the sky at the exact time and place of your birth. It provides a comprehensive overview of your energy and can help you begin to unravel the meaning of the influences in your life. When you first begin exploring astrology, it can be daunting, there's a lot to take in. But exploring your chart and seeking out guidance on